Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Packed columns, HETP, understand the concept and its effect on height of packing. In this video course, you will learn what is HETP, how is it related to column height, factors to be considered in determining HETP, packing loading and its impact on HETP, typical values of HETP. Please subscribe to the channel by subscribing. You will motivate us to produce knowledgeable video content for you. So subscribe now before you forget. In the design of packed column, we evaluate two most important sizing parameters. One, diameter of the column. Two, height of packing. Determination of height of packing in a distillation column to achieve a given separation task involves use of either the height of transfer unit, HTU, or the height equivalent of theoretical plates, HETP. The use of HTU approach requires estimation of mass transfer coefficient and is more rigorous. Literature provides a number of design procedures for determination of HTU. However, many designers follow the HETP approach to determine the height of packing in a column. The HETP is a height of packing material required to achieve the same separation as one theoretical plate. It can be used to determine the amount of packing required to achieve the same separation as a given number of theoretical plates in a distillation or absorption column. This figure illustrates a tray column having seven theoretical trees designed to do a separation task. If it is desired by the process to have a packed column for the same separation task, what will be the height of packing that will be required to achieve the separation the seven trays achieve in a tray column? A packed column is shown on the left side of the tray column with a packing element. The height of this packing is equal to one theoretical plate, that is HETP. The height of packed bed Z is equal to HETP times the number of theoretical plates, which is seven times HETP. In general, the packing height is equal to HETP times Z. The efficiency of packing in distillation towers is usually expressed as HETP. Lower the HETP, greater is the packing efficiency. HTP values are complex functions of temperature, pressure, composition, density, viscosity, diffusivity, pressure drop, vapor and liquid flow rates, packing characteristic, etc. Empirical correlations, though available to calculate the values of HTP, are restricted to limited applications. Factors to be considered in determining HETP. The height equivalent to a theoretical plate, HETP, is determined by the following main three factors. A. Intrinsic geometric shape and size of the packing. B. System properties. C. Packing loading. Let us spend some time briefly in understanding these factors. A. Intrinsic geometric shape and size of the packing. This factor determines surface area per unit volume and the packing capacity. For any packing, the smaller the packing size, the larger its surface area to volume ratio. That is, higher packing factor, higher the pressure drop and lower the HTP value. B. System properties, that is, the separation task. Several investigators have tried to establish correlation 
between the HTTP and the system fluid properties. And none of the expression provides accurate values of HTTP. From the system or service point of view, it is observed that the HTTP is a function of A, relative volatility, B, viscosity, C, surface tension. Depending on the nature of components, the dew point and bubble point of the column will vary. So also the pressure. These variations in temperature and pressure causes changes in relative volatility along the column. Hence, HTTP also varies with the relative volatility. Wetting of the packing surface is an important factor in separation process involving packed columns. Providing a packing for vapor-liquid contact is not sufficient. The liquid should wet the surface and spread a thin film over the surface. It is this wetting of the surface that provides surface for mass transfer. The figure below illustrates how the liquid is sprayed over the surface of a structured packing. The liquid spreads on the surface and forms a thin film. Wettability refers to the ability of the liquid to spread on the surface. The extent of wetting of the packing contributes to generating effective interfacing area which enhances heat and mass transfer. Wetting is related to the liquid property called surface tension. As surface tension increases, the wetting of the surface decreases as the liquid finds it difficult to stick to the surface. Hence, the HTTP increases. Water has higher surface tension, approximately 72 mm per meter at 25 degrees centigrade than most organic liquids and hence has poor wetting characteristics. The viscosity of the liquid affects the mass transfer. Higher viscosity reduces liquid fluidity and impedes mass transfer by decreasing the diffusivity of components from the gas phase into bulk of the liquid. As the viscosity increases, the resistance to downward flow of liquid increases, affecting the rate of mass transfer. In addition, the HTTP is related to lambda, which is equal to m divided by L by V, the ratio of the slopes of the equilibrium line and the operating line by the correlation HTTP equal to HTU times ln lambda divided by lambda minus 1 where HTU is equal to height of transfer unit. For a given system that is M the slope of the equilibrium line is fixed. L by V ratio has an impact on HTTP. Poor distribution of liquid on the packing surface negatively impacts the HTTP. An accurate estimation of HTTP is difficult. The packing vendors have their proprietary data based on actual lab tests. These data are used for scaling up for commercial applications. Before we move on, I would like to make a call to my dear viewers. Your spec eLearn channel is one-stop learning and skill development destination for your career needs. Get instant access to useful career-oriented subjects and become knowledgeable and competent. So do not forget to subscribe. Please press the subscribe button now. For non-IQS, non-reacting and non-ionizing systems having low to moderate volatility that is alpha in the range of less than 3. The packing suppliers have developed the following correlations for HTTP. HTTP equal to A times sigma divided by 20 to the power minus 0.16 times 1.78 to the power mu for mu less than or equal to 0.4 Cp. For mu greater than 0.4 Cp, 
the expression of HTTP is as follows HTTP equal to B times sigma by 20 to the power minus 0.19 times mu by 0.2 to the power 0.21. The values of the correlation parameters A and B are given in the table below. As you can observe, for a given service, that is viscosity, surface tension and relative volatility, as the packing size increases, the value of A increases and the HETP estimated from the above expression also increases. The same is the case with the correlation parameter B. This is because as the packing size increases, the packing factor decreases due to reduction in surface area per unit volume. Hence, it should be noted the values of A and B are functions of packing factor FP. The values of correlation parameters A and B will change as the packing type changes because of geometry. So does the HTTP. This table presents the HTTP of two different systems evaluated using the above relationship. System 1 is allyl chloride and system 2 is epichlorohydrin. Both are petrochemical products belonging to chlorinated organic product category. So the system properties are different. In both the cases, the packing type and size considered is the same IMTP40. The HTTP of system 1 estimated is 431 mm and that of the system 2 is 530 mm. This comparison of data highlights that the viscosity and surface tension are important variables that will impact the quantity of packing required for a given separation task, assuming that the relative volatility of the two systems is less than 3 and both are non aqueous. Packing loading and its impact on HTTP. As discussed before, wetting of packing surface is an important factor in separation process involving packed columns. Providing a packing for vapor liquid contact is not sufficient. The liquid should wet the surface and spread as thin film over the surface. It is this wetting of the surface that provides surface for mass transfer. Shown in the figure below is the effect of vapor loading on HTTP. At low loads, the distribution of liquid on the packing is poor, which results in poor wetting of the surface. The interaction between the vapor and the liquid is ineffective. Hence, the HTTP will be high. As the loads are increased, the wetting of packed surface improves, resulting in more intimate contact between the faces and HTTP steadily decreases. At a point corresponding to the loading point of the packing, the HTTP becomes constant over a range of loads. This range represents the operating range of packing. As the loads are further increased, the HTTP shows a decline going into high interaction between the fluids, followed by a rapid increase in the HTTP caused by heavy entrainment, high liquid holdup, and recirculation of liquid within the bed. This corresponds to the initial flooding of the bed as shown in the figure. HTTP for a given packing and given system is determined in pilot plans. Usually HTTP and the pressure drop of the packing are presented in a performance plot as a function of superficial vapor load that is a factor based on full cross section of the column or and capacity factor C factor. Figure 2 is an illustration of the same. Tracking the column pressure drop per unit height of packing is a good measure of spotting the onset of flooding and the shop increase in HTTP. Typical values of HTTP. Having understood the impact of liquid loading on the HTTP, let us now move on to take a look at the typical values of HTTP for some of the packing. The table below presents HTTP values of some commonly used structured packing. 
For comparison, the crimp angle of all the packing covered are the same, that is 45 degrees. Along with HTP, the packing factor and the surface area per unit volume are also presented. For example, Mela Pack 150 weight type packing has HTP of 21 inches, whereas Mela Pack 250 weight has HTP of 14 inches. Hence, Mela Pack 250 weight is more efficient than Mela Pack 150 weight. The physical properties of fluid such as viscosity, surface tension, relative volatility vary along the column. This is because the distillatant bottom compositions of the system in the distillation column is different. Hence it is usual to take average physical properties in the column to determine the average HTP of the system in calculating the packing height. Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career-oriented professional students. Thank you for watching.